Hello everyone, uh, my name is Steven Santiago and this is Kiana. Hello. Um, you want to introduce yourself? Sorry. Yeah, my name is Kiana. I am a senior nutrition educator with the Community Food Bank of New Jersey. And I'm the child education manager for uh, the SNAPVET program as well for the Community Food Bank of New Jersey. And we're here for our Wellness Wednesday and um, it's especially kicking off Hispanic Heritage Month. It's September 15th through October 15th. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of a recipe here to demonstrate a little bit of uh, the variety we can do during this month as well with the, some of the uh, fruits and vegetables. And then also uh, a little bit of fun fact with Hispanic Heritage Month is, um, did you know, Kian, that 13% uh, of uh, the people five years and older in the United States speak Spanish? No, I did not know that. A little, little fun fact for you here as well. So we have a little bit of a recipe here for you as well. It's called zucchini stir fry. Okay, so we're gonna do all we needed really is a skillet and a pan, a pan skillet, uh, which uh, we have here today. And Kiana's gonna actually uh, run down exactly what we're gonna add to this recipe specifically. All right, so we do here at the food bank we have an abundance of sweet potatoes and zucchini. So I thought that this we thought that the sweet potato and zucchini stir fry would have been great for our recipe during Wellness Wednesday. The ingredients that's involved with this, I've already started cooking sweet potatoes. If you don't know, sweet potatoes do take a while. So we already prepared them in a skillet with some olive oil. It's cooking on medium heat now. But the other ingredients that we will add contain zucchini, two cups, two cups of chopped bell pepper. We chose red and green bell peppers. And then one cup of chopped onion. This is a sweet vidalia onion. And then for our seasonings, we have garlic powder, we have olive oil and low sodium soy sauce. And then, like I said, we're already cooking it now. And the next step will be to add the zucchini, which contains two cups. And before we cook, we always want to make sure we, uh, we are washing our hands, especially we're cooking for other people specifically as well. But it's just good best practice as well. So we're going to actually use hand sanitizer because that's what's available to us right now. And then uh, just for best practice as well, if we're cooking for other people too, we like to uh, put yes. some, make some gloves and uh, things of that nature. And then Kiana is really just going to demonstrate, she's actually going to also uh, show you the proper way, safe way to cook uh, or to, to slice and dice over here as well. Um, and then uh, there's just, you know, cut yourself, best practice, things of that nature here as well. So. Okay, so we have a zucchini here. If you guys don't know, zucchini is rich in B6. Um, it is a vegetable, but it can also be considered a fruit because it does have seeds in it. They come in a variety of colors, orange, I mean not orange, yellow, green, um, and we're just going to get started. So this is my knife. I am right-handed, so I'm going to hold it in my right hand, and in my left hand I'm going to make a claw, and I'm going to hold the vegetable, and I'm just going to slice down. And as I'm slicing, I'm going to move my hand back so that I don't cut myself. This is nice practice. Um, children can do this, of course, with the help of a grown-up, um, and grown-ups can do this in the kitchen as well. And as you can see, Kian's using a cutting board as well. Um, you never know, just to make sure we, um, you know, not cut up our surfaces, things of that nature. Um, and it just helps it being sanitary too as well. We can easily keep clean this cutting mat right after. And then uh, Kiana actually, uh, just for the sake of time, uh, for the uh, for the wellness Wednesday video, she also already diced uh, the, the bell peppers and onions, as you can see here. Um, so we prepped that already. You, those are things that you can easily do in the beginning of prepping a recipe as well. It just makes things go by a little quicker, uh, so you get to your food. Mm -hmm. And obviously, this was a big zucchini, so it's taking a little long. All right. And what I like to do is I like to cut it in fours just to kind of make it a little bit smaller. And so it keeps it like a, that chunky uh, uh, bite to it. It doesn't, it's just, uh, it keeps it a little bit diced down a little bit more. So these are more of a, a, a chunk. A big tip too, you can definitely, uh, with, this, with any stir fry really, we can really throw in any type of vegetable you want. So you don't have to stick to these vegetables that we're using today. Uh, what we like to do um, specifically is, it's a little bit more affordable as well, is to use in-season in fruits and vegetables. So what's abundant to us right now? Could we throw corn in this pie, Jersey corn right now? Is that, is that really fresh? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if we want to even throw tomato a little bit for like a citrusy taste as well, 
we can also do that as well. So. And instead of zucchini, you can use broccoli, you can use green beans, instead of um, sweet potatoes, you can use red potatoes, you can use any type of potato. And very similar to the sweet potato as well, especially when it's coming up very shortly, um, is we're going to have a lot of pumpkins available to us. Right? We can definitely dice up some pumpkins as well that we can throw that in there. Yams is another one that we'll get a lot of amount as well. So um, definitely different options for your taste buds. All right, so the sweet potatoes have been cooking for some time now, about 30 to 45 minutes, and they look like they're well done. Um, like I said, the next step would be to add in the zucchini, peppers, and onions. The zucchini calls for one cup. So this is the one cup. When you look at a lot of these recipes and ingredients, things of that nature, that um, it's, it's, it's nice to measure it out for what they say, uh, especially for the serving size if you're just um, cooking for multiple people. So we have one cup in here, everything's already pre, like I said, pre uh, mixed. So are we gonna put that in, Kiana? Yes. Okay, so one cup right you can put, you can put that in. All right, that's one cup, and then I'm just gonna stir it a little bit. You can hear it sizzling. Turn up the heat a little bit. The heat is between 350 and 400 degrees. All right, and I'm just gonna add in a little bit more olive oil, being that I just added in another food. The sweet potatoes really absorb the, the olive oil in the beginning. All right, and our next step would be to add in our peppers. So we have green and red, at least eight. Again, you can choose yellow, you can choose orange. It's up to you. Again. With the stir fry, you're constantly stirring, just making sure um, it's getting to the bottom of the pan throughout the, and mixing up the, your different uh, fruits and vegetables. All right, and that's it. It smells good, right? Yes, it really does. <laughs> and you can tell that the skillet it has a variety of colors. This is giving us a lot of vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need and for our bodies to function properly. Okay, and let me add in the onion. This is one cup as well. So what are some of the things that you like to do during the fall, Stephen? I like to be outside. I like the. I like when the leaves are changing. I like the weather. I like the hoodie weather. Um, if I can golf, I can go on hikes. Uh, just be outside in nature because when it gets cold, it gets cold, and I, fall is my favorite uh, season. Yeah, the first day of fall is tomorrow. I'm excited as well. Hmm. All right. So let's go ahead and start adding our. Um, sauces and seasoning. The next step is to add soy sauce and garlic powder. So soy sauce calls for two teaspoons. I chose the low sodium so soy sauce. Yep. Definitely try to measure this out too because sometimes uh, too much salt really could um, can affect us in different various ways. But the luckily Keanu was smart enough and was able to find it as well. Um, to get low sodium. That was smart. Alright, so this is one teaspoon. Perfect. And you can start hearing the sizzle now, right? The vegetables are cooking together, especially when you're starting to add a little, a little bit of liquid.
spray pulling this through. Add it flavor. Very good, looks good already. It really does. And this can be a great option for um, lunch, for dinner. Smells really good. How, so how are you going to serve it, Kiana? You just put it usually in a bowl? You can serve it by itself. You can add rice um, to it, uh, brown rice or a white rice. Um, it's up to you. You can also serve it with a pasta if you would like. Um, for me, I would probably eat it just by itself. It already has a lot of nutri nutrients to it. You can also add a meat if you like. Um, you can ground up the meat and add it for extra protein mm -hmm. if that's something that you're interested in. So, so briefly, we're gonna um, we're gonna wrap this up. It's gonna take a little bit longer to cook. It's gonna be like another five minutes to cook, but uh, this is really a pretty quick dish. As you can hear, it's starting to sizzle a bit more here. Um, probably around 10 or 15 minutes when you kind of stir fry things that nature. So just to kind of depend on any extra uh, uh, vegetables you can put in, it might take a little bit longer to cook. But um, all in all, um, we're gonna let this cook and we're gonna eat this for lunch. Uh, as you can see, this is the uh, we have a few more minutes left in cooking it, uh, but it looks delicious and colorful. That's the biggest thing I can say. So. Yes. All right. So this wraps up our Wellness Wednesday for the for the Community Food Bank of New Jersey. Um, thank you, Kiana, for uh, no problem. You're the uh, perfect chef for this. Thank you. Um, and uh, thank you.